Greetings. My name is Steve Dyer, General Manager of QA Benchmark. Today I'm going to review our CT QA application, Auto QA Plus CT CAT Fan. Auto QA Plus CT CAT Fan is a Windows based processing application for CAT Fan images. This product is the migration of our CT Auto QA Lite application to a new development platform with an updated user interface and improved reporting functions. This application supports the processing of diacom images from diagnostic CT, radiation therapy cone beam CT, and angiographic cone beam CT systems. The goal of the new interface design was to create an intuitive workflow that minimizes user input in the data selection and reporting process. Additional emphasis was on the automatic image selection, which is the selection of the center slice of each CAT fan module from a complete scan of the fandom generated from the three sources of images just mentioned. We address the need of our users to customize reports with report formatting controls. These controls allow the user to select which measurements are performed, the inclusion of images, image overlays, graphs, charts, and setting site-specific pass-fail tolerances. Trend analysis, a key component for comprehensive QA, is quickly accessed through embedded links in the HTML report. The main application screen for AutoQA Plus displays all the CAT fan models supported along with selection options for SSP, slice sensitivity profile, and a standalone MTF measurement function. User selects a phantom and clicks next to advance. The screen can be disabled on startup, but if needed can be accessed using the back button at the next screen. At this DICOM folder selection screen, user navigates through their system drive, network drive, cloud storage, or archive media for the location of the user's CAT fan DICOM data. If the selected DICOM folder contains a single CAT fan series, the user can, can click the run to end button. This action will bypass the phantom study and series selection screens. If the DICAM folder contains multiple scan series, the user clicks next to view the DICOM directory of the phantom studies in the selected folder. Additional information displayed on this screen is the folder pathway, phantom selection, number of files in the selected folder. The images selected for processing are displayed below a reference image for each module in the selected phantom model. This is the confirmation screen for the automatically selected images for our CAT fan 600. Users can override selected images with the arrow buttons below each thumbnail image. The user can also disable the processing of any phantom module. To adjust the window level for these images, the user hovers the cursor over the thumbnail image. The image will enlarge and enable window level adjustments with cursor movements. Changes can be applied to all images with the options provided. This report option screen provides input fields where users can add additional information to the report header, such as scanner name, room location, operator's name, and phantom serial number. In the second section of the screen, the user selects the report profile to be used for the current selected set of CAD fan images. 
Here also, the user can edit and create new report profiles. Our report profile manager gives access to each image quality parameter to control output and modify pass fail tolerances. Two default report profiles are provided for each phantom. One profile is the complete report with all output features turned on. And the second default profile creates a report that excludes all images, graphs, and charts. Users can create new site-specific report profiles by editing either profile, then saving as new. Analysis results are output to an HTML file and a PDF file. On the left side of the screen is the results section for the CT linearity measurement from the HTML browser screen. Adjacent to each of the CT sample means is a small scatter plot icon. When clicked, the trend chart for that parameter will display, as shown on the right. The selected trend data is filtered on a group of key scan techniques of the current scan. In cases where there are multiple entries, users can remove any of the entries listed in the trend chart. Included on the right side of the trend screen are statistics for the selected entries. The user defined pass fail tolerances are displayed on all the trend graphs. At the lower left of the trend screen are function buttons to export the chart as a bitmap image and export data capturing the displayed entries to a spreadsheet file. Slice thickness accuracy is evaluated as a full width half maximum of a single pixel profile of each wire ramp corrected by the tangent of the ramp angle. Profile is constructed based on the maximum pixel value found over the length of the ramp, sampling it across a limited distance perpendicular to the ramp. An estimate of the full width half maximum is determined to establish sampling locations for baseline correction. Using, the, using this new baseline corrected profile, the final full width half maximum is calculated by linear interpolation and the z-axis measurement reported as a product of the full width half maximum and the tangent of the ramp angle. The application of a smoothing filter to the ramp profile data may be implemented with the criteria based on a combination of expected slice thickness and image noise. Phantom rotation about the x and y axis is estimated from the known measured slice thickness for each pair of ramps and the offset from the module center. Slice thickness accuracy using bead ramps. The measurement of slice thickness using the 0.25 millimeter and one millimeter space bead ramps in the CTP 591 module follows the same sampling method as just described for the wire ramps, with one exception, that the baseline correction is modified due to the impact of volume averaging with different slice thicknesses, where the percentage of baseline correction applied increases with thinner slices. The number of peaks in the profile are counted and multiplied by the bead spacing, then converted to slice thickness using the tangent of the ramp angle. Verification of laser alignment and scan localizer accuracy is reported as the table position offset parameter, displayed on the left as TPO. The table position offset is the distance between the wire ramp center and the module center then convert it with the tangent of the ramp angle to the z-axis offset. For the spatial linearity evaluation 
two measurements are reported, pixel size and the measured average distances between the four pixel size test plugs. The pixel size plugs are used for the verification of the expected pixel size as stored in the DICOM tag for pixel spacing. The center locations of the pixel size plugs are determined from a center mass calculation of a vertical and horizontal profile through the target plugs. These center to center distances are reported as spatial linearity. For CT number accuracy, the average CT means for the reference materials are reported and a linear least squares regression is evaluated for the mean CT number and linear attenuation coefficients over a range of energies. The energy with the linear attenuation coefficients with the best correlation is selected as the effective beam energy and the slope reported as the contrast scale. For CT number uniformity, reported are the mean CT numbers for five regions of interest at a diameter equal to 10% of the phantom diameter and position approximately 1 cm from the module insert edge or the phantom edge. The reported uniformity is the absolute value of the maximum difference between the center mean and the four peripheral mean CT numbers. In addition to the CT number uniformity measurement, a uniformity index is reported that is derived from vertical and horizontal profiles, 10 pixels wide through the module center. For the 15 cm diameter uniformity module in the CATFAN 600, the examined profile length is 130 millimeters, approximately 87% of the module diameter. The reported uniformity index is the fraction of pixels within the limits of plus or minus 10 Hounsful units or two times the image noise, whichever is less. For qualitative evaluation of image uniformity, both profiles are displayed for the full image and the 130 millimeter process section. This presentation offers the user an effective tool for visual indication of reconstruction artifacts. Noise magnitude follows IEC guidelines with a measurement using a central region of interest sized at 40% of the phantom diameter. This diameter parameter is accessible by the user through the reports profile manager. Spatial resolution modulation transfer function. The spatial resolution is measured from the point spread function of the bead and wire in the CTP591 and CTP528 modules. Point spread function baseline correction uses the average of pixels at a five millimeter perimeter and eight millimeter for a large field of view data set. Line spread functions are generated by integrating the point spread function along both the vertical and horizontal directions. The reported MTF results are the average discrete Fourier transform of both line spread functions. Low contrast, contrast to noise ratio, measurements for the CTP 515 module with the following 1%, 0.5%, and 0.3% contrast levels are calculated and charted for the 5 millimeter to the 15 millimeter diameter targets. The slice sensitivity profile, the measurement of axial or z-axis spatial resolution of a helical scan. The SSP bead phantom or bead module is scanned with a recommended scan increment of approximately a tenth of the slice thickness 
with overlapping slices. The SSP profile is generated from an ROI reporting the maximum pixel value of the bead. The profile is baseline corrected using a background measurement from the tails of the profile at a defined distance from the peak signal image. The measured full width half maximum of the SSP profile is calculated by linear interpolation. A user interface is available to support the bead selection in situations where a phantom with multiple targets as with the CTP591 module may be used. The manual MTF analysis supports standalone MTF measurements when doing acceptance testing or following specific spatial resolution protocols that requires small field of view reconstruction and or recentering of the image. With this mode, Using the interface screen displayed, multiple acquisitions of a wire or bead module can be selected and processed simultaneously. Images can be selected and the bead location identified while ignoring images that are void of a bead. The user interface provides thumbnail views of all the selected MTF images with scroll buttons and indications of currently selected image and images where the location of a bead or wire were identified. The standard spatial resolution MTF analysis output is provided. Thank you for your attention and please reach out to us at our virtual exhibit.